In this video, I'm going to quickly go through the directions for the Build an Atom FET simulation. On the right side, I have the worksheet open already, and then on the left side, I have my simulation ready to go. You can get to the simulation by clicking on this link at the top of the worksheet. We begin by clicking on Atom, and then it asks us to expand our mass number and charge. We're going to complete the table by adding one particle at a time from these buckets and noticing how the charge the mass number, and the location of the particle change. The nucleus is the middle of our atom here. So if the particle snaps to the middle, it would be in the nucleus. But if we add a particle and it doesn't, and it goes to one of these orbits, then obviously it would not be found in the nucleus. Answer questions 2 through 6 based on what you observe here. When you get to question 7, our window changes a little bit here and it's asking you to fill in what these numbers mean. So, they give you some pictures to kind of help you out here, like what the symbols mean, but this one in the lower left-hand corner is a little tricky. So notice when that number changes, what I have to do to make that number change. So what could that number represent? Just in general, I'm looking for what that number represents. When you get to question eight, it asks you to construct a stable molecule. So if I click on the stable unstable, it's telling me that this is helium, but I want to make it boron, so you'll have to figure out what you have to add to make it boron, and then you also want to make it stable. So play with the number of particles to make it stable, and also no charge. So continue on through this. When we get to question number 17, it asks you to toggle to the cloud model. So you're going to click on this button right here. And that's pretty much how the simulation works. Good luck, and have fun.